Hi everyone, uh, I hope you guys are doing alright in this uh, challenging times. Uh, in this video I'd like to um, <clears throat> share with you on how you can um, have a control logics or compact logics communicate Modbus uh, TCP Modbus RTU via TCP uh, so you can gather that data back to your PLC. So to do that I have here uh, a couple add on instructions uh, Modbus RTU read, uh, Modbus TCP read, uh, and I'm still working on the write function in here, so uh, we'll probably that'll be another video. But anyhow, um, so in this add on instruction uh, in here, this will be used in a topology where you have a serial to Ethernet uh, server uh, hooked up to uh, perhaps a few Modbus uh, devices over a serial network like an RS-485. So you could have, uh, you know, uh, flow meters, RTUs, um, VFDs, power monitors, uh, whatever in that network coming through that uh, uh, Ethernet uh, serial gateway. Uh, and then uh, with this UI, you'll be able to grab that data uh, back to your PLC uh, from, uh, from, the, from the gateway. So the way this works, um, it essentially uses uh, socket services um, to communicate to your, uh, to your devices or to send the Modbus uh, commands and receive the responses uh, from your devices. So that's very important um, to be familiar with and understand, um, you know, should you want to go this route of building uh, something uh, perhaps like this or, you know, or maybe a logic or whatever you, uh, you see suitable for your uh, circumstances. Um, so as we see here, we have a, a gateway IP, so here where you can specify the IP of your Ethernet to serial server. And then we've got uh, Modbus commands, you have up to 60 commands that you can uh, put in here. And then you have an array where the data goes, or that we read, we have a, an array of 120 uh, integers. And then we have uh, these tags to handle the, the socket communication opening the socket and reading and writing from the socket and so forth. So uh, to see this uh, basically working in action, I'm just using right now MD bus. I don't have a Modbus uh, slave uh, physical one. So I'm just using mod, sorry, I'm just using MD bus uh, as my slave. Uh, so in, in this configuration, so I'm going to turn it off here in a second. So I'm using it in the RTU via TCP, uh, which is slightly different than RTU TCP in terms of how the, how the protocol works behind uh, the scenes. So that's why we have these two. And those two add-on instructions will work uh, whether with RTU via TCP or RTU TCP uh, if, if you have those devices. All right, so uh, right now I'm just gonna read from you know I just have here 10 registers uh, so I'm just gonna say okay uh, here is my values 10 20 30 4 and so forth I'm gonna turn this on um, and then I'm gonna go to my read array uh, to see my values so as you can see the values are already there so I'm just gonna zero them here for a second and you can see they're back in there. Um, if I go here, you know, just let's say I'm going to change this to 40, for instance, just to see. So here's 40 in your PLC from your MD bus. So that's pretty much straightforward in there. Um, now for the for the EOI. Um, for the configuration, just to show you a couple things in here, 
Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it's better. Um, so the commands, uh, you know, the parameters you have in there, so you can enable that command or disable it. Uh, the slave address, the mod bus function, the registry you want to start to read from, how many registers you're going to read, um, and you have up to 120 registers you can read at one time. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but um, you can do that. Uh, the poll, uh, you know, the poll time. Uh, the swapping, if you want to do a byte swap or word swap or both. Uh, the read offsets. So this is where the data is going to reside in that array. So if you can, if you specify an offset, then it's going to be in that uh, particular element where the offset is in the in the read array. And then description and, and an error. So anything beside the zero, if you have constant one here, then you know something is not right. That's pretty much it for the, the commands. And of course, there's other other parameters and other details. I'm not going to go into that, um, so I don't bore you with too much details. Uh, but uh, if you have questions, feel free to uh, uh, put them in the comment or text me or shoot me a message. I'll be more happy to, uh, to respond to those questions. Uh, so that's pretty much how this works. Uh, and then we have the Modbus RTU TCP, which is pretty much the same uh, same parameters, there with a couple exceptions. Now this one here, you will use it like I was mentioning in a topology where you have the devices already has Modbus TCP, you know, over Ethernet. Uh, so there's no serial Ethernet uh, server in between or anything like that. So everything's hooked up to your Ethernet switch. So in that scenario, you can use this block to read the values from your devices. And if we go here to the configuration, you're going to notice here, uh, you know, some of the differences is, for example, in here, we call them transaction rather than uh, commands. That's kind of the terminology, the Modbus TCP. Uh, so a couple things here. So you have here the IP address of your device. So you're going to have an IP in every of these transactions which mean, you know, you could have, you know, multiple devices uh, talking to your PLC, uh, which is not unusual. So in that case, you can specify the IP address of each of those devices uh, in all these transactions. You have up to 60. Uh, and then, you know, the rest is pretty much the same. So the UID is the unit ID. So again, just different uh, term for the slave ID, basically. And then the modbus functions and the rest is pretty much the same. So we're going to see here in a little bit how this works. So I'm going to um, turn this off. I don't want to read from this anymore. And then I'm going to turn this on. And then I'm going to go to my MD bus. Uh, to make it work, I have to specify now RTU TCP rather than RTU via TCP and you see here the CRC um, it's it's grayed out because in in this protocol that's not required okay I click OK and then turn it on and once I turn it on um, now my values here are the same so I'm gonna go here to uh, my Modbus TCP read array all right, and I should have, there we go, we have the same values uh, as before. If I zero them just to see if, you know, you can see right away they are overwritten by the UI. And now if I specify here, for instance, um, C50, except uh, I can see 50 right away uh, in there uh, in my PLC. So that's it for uh, for now, folks, and I hope this is uh, was uh, useful. Uh, you have questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate. Uh, 